Hey guys, it's JG. Let's talk about Season 1, Episode 4 of The Bad Batch Cornered. In this episode, The Bad Batch and Omega uh, have several problems. Uh, they are out of uh, supplies, they are out of fuel, and they realize that the ship uh, is basically on like the wanted list. People know that what that ship is, and they, they need to scramble the signature of the ship so that they could lay low. Uh, they end up going to Pantora, which is a planet that we're familiar with from the Clone Wars. Uh, while on there, uh, they they need to get supplies, and they need to scramble uh, the signature. Uh, they do successfully figure out how to... They do successfully scramble the signature, uh, but in the process of doing that, Echo gets sold for some credits. Uh, he does get recovered by the end. And then also, a bounty hunter is sent after Omega. Uh, the bounty hunter ends up being Fennec Shan from The Mandalorian. So we get to see her kind of in her younger days, which is kind of cool. Uh, really to be able to see this bounty hunter again. Uh, voiced by the same uh, actress who played uh, her in The Mandalorian, which was awesome. My only problem is that this episode, and while it is Star Wars content, and while it is Bad Batch, there wasn't much to the episode. The only thing that really happened was that we now know that there's a bounty hunter that's after her, there's probably more bounty hunters that are after her, and Fennec Shand has an employer, so who sent Fennec Shand? That's pretty much the big thing. Uh, there were some nice resistance call callbacks, uh, some nice little like Easter eggs, I guess you could say. Uh, but besides that, there really wasn't much to this episode. And uh, out of the uh, out of the four that we've received so far, it's probably my least favorite. It was good. The music was good. It looked good. But there really wasn't much there. And I wasn't necessarily bored. There just wasn't a lot there. With that being said, though, again, it's Star Wars content. And I'm very thankful that we have it. And it was good to a degree i'm just looking for i want more of the stakes that we had like in episode three and i want to see more of that storyline and so i do think we will get that and i do we have to keep in mind that this is obviously a show that's made for kids um and plus there's 16 episodes so you're gonna have some episodes that are maybe a little bit lighter on the plot uh i never want to say that anything's a filler or a throwaway episode because as we know with dave filoni and everything that's happened in rebels and even clone wars like everything pays off everything is done for a reason everything has a purpose so i'm excited to see what that payoff is uh this show is doing a really good job so far i am curious to see uh where they do end up going with uh this crew uh, i do think that they are setting up some for some heartbreak uh but we will have to wait and see uh when that heartbreak will come so guys, did you watch season one, episode four of The Bad Batch Cornered? If you did, I want to hear what you guys thought about it. Uh, please drop a comment uh, with what your thoughts were. Did you think that this was a, a little bit lower of a tier? Did you enjoy this episode? Uh, however you felt, I want to talk about it with you. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel a lot. And with that, guys, have a great day.